<coughs> so I made it this morning. I didn't think I was going to make it. You look like a rock star, but I bet you feel. Oh, I, I feel probably like what they feel like <laughs> yeah. anyway. Rock stars probably feel exactly what I feel. But yeah, I um, thought someone was trying to rob the limo then. I made it here safe and sound. I didn't crash on the way or anything. And we've got to get this van done literally in like 10 to 11. He's going to be here from London by about half 12. So we've got an hour and 40 minutes. That's the door. And it's supposed to be on the van. <laughs> so we're kind of, we're missing pieces, aren't we, Jack? So you're very short on time and you're feeling very bad. I had to come in in the rush. Because I woke up at 10 to 10, I was like, oh God, it's 10 to 10. I had to take some Sudafed and some Calpol. I know Calpol is like a child's, a child's paracetamol. But I took that and uh, then I had some porridge that Ricky made, which was actually quite nice, like a chinese style porridge. I think it's just normal English style, really. What was in it? Uh, jam. Mm. Strawberry jam. Um, so I gobbled that up and uh, drove to work with it revving like that. <laughs> like that because I didn't wait for it to warm up I just thought I'd just stick it in drive and go so hopefully it wouldn't cut out on the way you know so I'm here I'm here safe and sound and all we need to do now is get these doors on get the wing mirror pieces on spray those two lower rocker panels spray another bracket black connect the electrical cables up for the rear lighting so it's just a few more pieces really and, and we're good to go Well, he, Jack was talking a load of rubbish, basically. <laughs> Saying that if humans didn't kill sh cows, they'd become extinct. They won't become extinct. They won't be extinct. What a load If humans of didn't rubbish. kill... Wait, wait. <laughs> the, the, it's not like cows only exist because of humans. Where are they going to live? In the pastures of, of freedom. I don't believe any animal can become extinct because humans are not around. They already exist without humans being around. Is he so saying we, that we so own their space? Apart from like domestic cats and all that stuff. But even then you've got like stray cats. Yeah, the difference between a cat and a cow though. Cows would still exist without like the dairy and meat industries. There won't be as many of them. You wouldn't, you wouldn't just be sat here and then like a cow would just like walk down the road. Yeah, that would just happen now though. Hmm? Yeah, but, but it would have happened in the past. Right? Yeah. But not now. No. Right, and not in the future. But yeah, like, it's possible in the future. You see, well, who's going to keep them? Where are they going to stay? They eat grass, don't they? Yo, where, where are they going to stay? They're obviously not going to stay in the urban environment. Farm, but what's the point in a farmer keeping them if they don't do anything? Because he wants a pet. <laughs> right, what we saying? You don't want a pet cow? <laughs> no, but we're saying if they're not pets and they're not for food and they're not for dairy, <coughs> they could just roam in the wild. So, what you're saying is, yeah, that. Eventually, there'd only be two cows and they'd be in the zoo. No, what? That's what you're saying, isn't it? You start putting cows in zoos. Yeah, basically, that's, the, that's, that's what you're saying, that's isn't it? That's the most boring zoo I've ever been to. <laughs> that's what you're saying, though, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, they'd saying, be, yeah, they become like relics. They become yeah, like museum yeah. items. We don't need them. Let's say everyone doesn't eat meat, milk, and drink, drink milk and eat, uh, what is it, beef, right? If nobody eats beef and nobody drinks milk, suddenly cows have become void in their existence and then will only become zoo creatures. I never mentioned a zoo. <laughs> yeah, but that's what that's. They'd have to be put in a zoo so they don't all get pillaged out of, out no, of life. Isn't it? No. Yeah. What would happen to them then? They'd become extinct. Not extinct. What would happen then? But it would, there would be a fair few people having as pets, that's about it. Maybe, yeah. How about you? It's not something that's happened, is it? That's what you're saying would happen, though. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's like cows never existed without humans being existing. How is that possible? No, but because of us. Now, every bit of land is owned by someone. Yeah. Back then, it was just free land, wasn't it? So, was so cows, cows? cows could just chill on the free land. Yeah. Whereas now, farmers own this free land. Why would they want a cow? Damaging the crops and all that. Like, even if you go like anywhere, it's still owned by someone. So cows only now serve a purpose. Yeah. 
And if they didn't serve that purpose anymore, there'd have been no need for them. Yeah. That's a bit brutal, that. That's why, yeah, it's it. That's what it is, isn't it? I'm not sure I agree with this theory, but it does make sense to some extent. It does make sense to some extent. I've just gone on two websites and both of them have said the opposite things to each other. So, I think that they'd still exist. But where? You're really, really poorly. What did you do this weekend then if you're sick? Just sit. Um, I literally sit. just hibernated like a bear over the winter. Stayed in bed. There's not much you can do when you're ill. But I have this time. I've, I've changed my tactic, which is now I eat. Before I never used to eat when I was ill, but now I eat, and that I feel like that's made a big difference. Yeah, because your body's got the nutrients to fight it. Yeah. Before I didn't do that. Before I just kind of starved and and got it ill. Makes it worse. Yeah. Well, you probably feel worse as well. And then but I didn't feel like I wanted it. to eat, so it made sense that I just didn't. But now it makes sense that I do regardless of whether I feel hungry or not. Yeah, he's been really rough. He yesterday couldn't get off our bed in the morning. Been eating healthy or? Yeah. Don't look like I'm dead or what? No, Go like this. Don't look a bit dead. Yeah. Yeah, so now when he doesn't agree with something that we do, his form of protest is shoving his hand to the back of his throat. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of a kid doing that. And then he goes like, like that. That's like, that's his way of bribing us into doing what he wants. Hey, Jaden. Jaden. No. 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 No, I'm trying to test it, see if it works. Jaden, no. Mm. Oh, you're the cutest little son, aren't you? Hi. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He's really, he's really funny. If you say, oh my God, or say, I quit, or there's uh, something else that he really like. I say, no, no, he really like it. He say, hey, Jen. No, no! Ah, oh, that's disgusting. What was that? You know, like, English people have got a reputation for English tea. I thought, yeah. you know, I'm going to have a nice cup of tea, I can't wait. So, I didn't have a cup of tea on Saturday because it was about like 8 p.m. in the evening when I wanted one. So I thought I'm gonna definitely have one on Sunday. So I made one. Plan your cup of tea. Why can't you have one at eight o'clock? Because like it's too late and the caffeine might late. affect it and I might not sleep. And sleep is very important to me. So I didn't want to risk it. I didn't know if the caffeine would like destroy me, but destroy. I thought I'll have one on Sunday. So I planned my tea. Got the kettle really hot, boiled it up nice, pour, 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 you know, my sugar and the tea bag and all that good stuff, right? Slammed the milk in, tasted it, I felt like throwing up. It was really disappointing. You're that bad at making cups of tea. No, <laughs> I don't know, the milk wasn't off, the tea bags were PG tips just as I like them. The kettle was hot, two sugars, everything should have been perfect. And for some reason, it was disgusting. And I felt upset by it. So that was my Sunday. <laughs> <laughs>